Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to test SOAP web services with Catalon Studio and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and as always I am going to go very basic step by step and we will look at a practical example of testing a SOAP web service. We will also see a step by step guide on how to add a SOAP web service request, how to add SOAP request in a test case, how to add validations and how to uh, validate any particular value in the SOAP response message. We will also look at the summary and you can follow this on Windows as well as on Mac. So let me go and open my Catalon Studio and you can see I am using Catalon Studio 5.8.0 version to record this particular session and I will go to the last API demo project we created in our last session. So I will open this project and here I will go to object repository and these are some of the SOAP requests we added in our last session for getting the details of a bank. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for another sample SOAP service. So let me search for a sample calculator web service. So I am searching a sample calculator SOAP web service for testing and let me see this one. This has a good SOAP APIs. I will also copy this link and make it available in the notes so you can follow this and refer it from here. So yes, here is the service and if I go to the service description here, so here we have add, divide, multiply, subtract all these functions in this service. So let me go to here and this is the visual. So I will copy the URL and I will also make this URL available here. So this is the visual. URL for this calculator service and here what I'm going to do is you can see we have this options to directly create a request and we can also go to help and quick start and we can select this SOAP new draft SOAP request or import visual. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually go into my object repository and I will select new and I will select a new folder. I will create a new folder and I will name this as calculator soap service. It is uh, very useful if you create folders and give meaningful names to your folder so that it is very easy to identify. And here inside this folder, I am going to create a new web service request for addition. And this is going to be a soap request. And this is the URL. And I will say you can give some description which is optional and say OK. So here it has created this request and I can say click this load from Vistal. So this will give us all the options we have, all the services we have. And here I'm going to select add. And if I go to the request message, as of now this is empty. And what I can do is I can use the Vistler Chrome extension that we have also learned in the last session. So this is a Chrome extension that you can add and the name is Vistler. Let me also show you this, show this again to you. You can go to apps and go to the Chrome web store. And then just search for Vistler and add it to your Chrome. So you will get this and whenever you will have a Vistler URL, this will be highlighted or activated I will click here and I will click on add now also one thing that you should uh, see here is when you click on this uh, Whistler you can see this is for calculator soap 1.1 this is for 1.2 so this you can also see in your uh, Catalon studio if you click this drop down you can see we have soap 1.2 and then soap so you can accordingly select from here I have selected this one which is the earlier version and if you see here here is the request body I will copy it from here and provide it in the request message and of course here we have to give the number so let me say uh, 2 and 4 here and I will just run this from this run button and let us see the output so this is sending the request and here we have got the result and you can see we have got the output as 6. So here we can also add some uh, verification or uh, here so I can add some verification statements and you can see the snippets are here. So let me just add the status code 
and also let me just say uh, here I will say response body contains a string and let me just say I just want to verify something here let me say I just want to verify this add result so I will say the response body contains this particular string so I will know if I have this add result tag that means I have got some result and let me just try to run this and to see the verification log I will hit this drop down besides this play button and say test request and verify and let us see the output now so this is sending the request and here we have got this and everything is successful if I look at the verification log you can see verification accomplished successfully so this is working fine now you can add your SOAP requests in the same way under object repository and then you can add this to your test cases now in the latest version or the version that I am using uh, here we also have this plus button where we can add it to a new or an existing test case what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this manually first and show you so I will just create a new folder and I will say this as calculator tests you can directly create a test but it is always useful to create folders with meaningful names and then I will create a test case or I can again create a folder for addition but let me just create a test case for addition so I will you can give some description and say ok so here is our test now here you can see we have this option to add web service keyword you can click here and here you will get the drop down for all the web services keyword and you can select the keyword also you can directly go to this uh, keyword browser and go to built-in keywords go to web service keyword and select your keyword so for example I want to select send request and you can drag and drop it here as well so even this will work fine but we just want to we, you can do it directly from here so let me delete this one and let us focus on send request so here you have to give an object and the object will be the SOAP request that you have just added so this is the request uh, I think the spelling is wrong let me rename it so I will say I will say this is ADDITION okay so you can click here double click here and it will give you all the SOAP or all the web service requests that you have under your object repository and then you can select it from here the other way is you can directly drag it and drop it here so this is you can do and if you want to store the output in a variable you can click here and give any variable name I am giving a variable name as response description is of course optional and now this is our very first step which is running our addition SOAP request and it is storing the output or the response message in a variable called response if I go to the script view you can see this is how it looks like uh, I will just collapse this import statements and you can see this is how it looks like it says ws dot send request and this is our request and it is storing it in a response variable so I can just save everything by pressing command s or control s on my keyboard and I will I can run this so this is my test case and I will run this so here you can see the progress and you can see the logs at the bottom and let us see here are the logs coming and yes everything is okay you can see the logs are here everything is fine and running properly now let me make some mistake in the verification statement so I will say here let us say I am saying verify the response code is 201 this is uh, this verification point should fail however if I go to my test and run this again let me save everything and here let me run my test again and let us see the output now so this is running our test and here is the log viewer and let us see the logs do you see it has uh, still it is passing so there is no failure the reason is 
the send request keyword will only send the request and get the response it will not check for any verification point if you want to also check for the verifications that you have added in the request we have to use another keyword which is send request and verify so this is the keyword that we have to use so here again I will add this object which is our addition request and let me store the response in the variable here and not in the first step so now first step should pass and second should fail so let us verify it by running this again and yes this is running we can see the logs here and yes the first is step is pass and here yes you can see the second step is fail so here you can see send request is pass but send request and verify is failed because of the verification point and you can see this is the reason so this is the reason the verification status code we were expecting 201 so you can see here it was expecting 201 but we got 200 that is why there is a failure so let me correct this here I will go and make it again as 200 and save everything and run this again and this should run fine this time so here are the logs so yes you can see the logs and everything is successful we have the first step send request and the second step as well successful now what we are going to do is until now we have just ran our request but we have not yet verified any values in our response so for example you can see in the result I am getting this value which is the add result 6 so I can also verify this particular value now if you go to your uh, soap request and you go to the verification tab and go to show snippets you will see some snippets for this for example we have response body json value check so this is something we can also use for a xml body so here you can see we are using verify element property value and the variable that has the response where we have stored our response and we give the location of that particular value or the particular uh, parameter for example here we have add result so I can say here the value is the location is add response dot add result and then what we want to verify is 6 now to get this x path you can use some help so I have some examples here or some URLs here so if I go here this is one good URL you can go here and here you can find the x path from a xml message so here you can just insert your xml and then generate an xpath so for example i will copy my response message and put it here and then it says to generate an xpath place the cursor in the text attribute or element you want an xpath to so here i want for this add result i will just click here and you can see it has given us the complete xpath for that particular tag or element now in catalon studio you may not be able to use this directly so here there is another link that will be very helpful so just go here all these links will be available in the notes of this video so if I go here you can see how to handle response messages and this is how you can locate an element here we have some examples that you can see how exactly you can create a JSON path or an X path so for example here for contact number you can do something like this get employee response dot employee dot contact dot at number so here we start like this so this is this will be very useful you can check that and here you can also use this in keywords so for example if I go to my test case and if I go to the add web service keyword and I go to the drop down you can see verify element property value is here so here if I have to use this I will have to in the input I will have to first say what is the response variable so here I have stored my response in the variable called response then the locator and the locator in my case is add response dot 
add result and then the value that I want to verify which is 6 so this is how you can use this and if I go to the script mode you can see this is how it will look like so this is what you can use to verify some particular values in the response now I will discuss more on this in the coming sessions and for now I will stop the session here so today we learned how to add SOAP messages, SOAP request, how to add a web request from Vistal, how to add validations and how to run your SOAP request. I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.